What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. It's Friday, this is the first video and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to blend images together. So let's say you have like a nice uh, picture of like a sunset and you want to blend that together with like a nice like ocean picture. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I am on Photoshop and basically what I said in the beginning, like you yeah, have like a nice sunset. I want to blend, blend it together with like um, a ocean, for example. As you can see, I have two files open, which is the uh, sunset and the ocean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to make the left part of the sunset fading or blending into the ocean part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control so I can move it around. Now I'm going to drag that on top of this one. Boom. That you can't see anything else but the ocean. Then what you want to do, there are two options. Or you can use the gradient tool, but that's not something I would, re would recommend. I'm using like a really, really simple technique that is called using your eraser tool. Let's pick the eraser tool as you can see right here, this one. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna make, I can make sure I can edit it, boom. Let's see what happens if I use, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger though. Let's see what happens to the, to the picture. Click on when I just use the eraser tool. This will happen. Boom. We have a freaking stripe like right here. And as you guys can see, here is the entire photo. Okay, so I removed it real quick, everything. So as you guys can see, you have like an unstraight line. It's not a fade. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to press Control Z or Z. You can choose what, what you, you want to, how you pronounce it. So I'm going to back, I'm going back to the uh, razor tool. I'm going to make it like a lot of bigger. And I'm going to pick the one with the fade, not with like the solid one. You want to pick with the fade like this. Let's see how it looks when I do it like right now. Boom. So, as you can see, we have like a nice line. And what you, the next thing you want to do is you just want to re like remove this, like this, boom. And here we have, you know, the blend. But as you can see, it's not that it's not done like, like that really well. So I'm going to make it also a little bit bigger as well. And I'm going to like try to make like a perfect straight line. So let's 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 do this. Like this. Okay, so I'm going to remove um, every all the access on the left, and as you guys can see, we have a fade into the sunset. But you can see it's like way to the right. Well, it depends on like where you want to like where you want to put it. Like I'm let's say I'm going to put it like right here. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. Boom, and then I am going to remove all this as you can see, and then we have basically like a nice fade into the sunset that is how basically how simple this but you want to let's say we want to like also make it more like like way bigger let's pick like this let's see how it looks right now i'm just going to start right here and in, in the corner and go to the right and as you can see it looks really really good and it's just blending into it as you can see it's it's like freaking amazing that it's basically how i do it uh, as you can see so that is basically how you blend images together like you just have like nice fades and i don't know guys that is how similar this and you can basically choose whatever you want you, you can do everything you want of course you can use like different images just use the eraser tool with like not the solid one and as you guys can see we have a nice blend into the picture and that is basically how similar to this guys that's how i would do it that's what i would recommend because you have also like the gradient tool i'm not sure guys i don't have like a lot of experience with the, you know with the with the gradient tool i would say like you know stick with the you know the eraser tool because you can like choose the thickness as you can see and basically that is so similar to this that is so similar to this guys that is how you blend images together it's really easy so if you want to see more of those uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop CC tutorials, rather, make sure to smash the like button down below and also make sure to subscribe down below for more videos so you will get notified anytime I upload. Thank you guys for the continued support. I will see you guys tomorrow for two hit film tutorials. New series coming soon. It's going to be really epic. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's me again. Um, I know I, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all the kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Um, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner media crowd. Let me explain this from the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.